Good afternoon, we have arrived in Copenhagen. Welcome back to the channel. So we're here to race, well, I'm here to race. I'm in Copenhagen, I'm with Gaz. He's here to support. And this is my second year doing Copenhagen. So for anyone who hasn't seen last year's vlog, last year I did Ironman Copenhagen and it was my first ever Ironman. And I'm back this year to do it again because I loved it that much. <laughs> um, I do like Copenhagen as a city, the race, was amazing the support was amazing I loved it um, and obviously I want to try and beat my time yeah back to race it again so we just arrived dropped our stuff off off to go and register and get stuff sorted so we were on our way to register and absolutely chucking it down so we are sheltering it's raining cats and dogs this time we'll literally <laughs> <laughs> as long as it gets it out of the way before Sunday, I don't mind. But it gives me a nightmare spectating in this. I will go. I will spectate. I won't. And just like that, we're back down at the swim, and you really do forget how far 3.8k is. It's literally like three. It's just under 4k. It is miles. Miles is 2.4 miles. Yeah, so anyway, you really do forget miles. how far it is. We are just down to go in and get registered. I thought I'd get that out of the way nice and soon and get the jobs done today. But yeah, 3.8k swim is far. I'm nervous. We're back. It doesn't feel like a year. Oh, the nerves are still real though. Oh my god. Look at her. Look at what all-world athlete are you? Yeah? You've got to milk it like you can. I might not be one next year. All-world athlete, is it? Nice bag. It's alright, it's fun. Yeah, it looks lovely. Nice. I don't think I need any more backpacks though. No, you've got a fair few like now. We could leave this one here. It'll be nice for the weekend. You can carry it. So we're all registered. Number 119. Nice low number, which is good. I feel like it just is, gets more and more seamless every time. I feel like it used to be so much more stressful than that. But anyway, we're registered. We're going to go back, eat some pizza, and build the bike, and we're done. It's only Thursday. I know, we've got ages. Yeah. Did we come this early last time? Nah, yeah. Yeah, we did. Thursday, yeah. Yes. Yes. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How much they are? Okay. Yeah. Uh, so they are. So just that one pair. Which one are you? Yeah. For now, thank you. For now. Thursday night, feeding up. Eat fueling for the Iron Man. Chicken salad. Perfect. Thank you, mate. <laughs> I'm really fueling for his Iron Man. Sandwich and pizza. <laughs> Twelve minutes to build that bike, according to the timer on here. Perfect. We can put the tires, but the bike is built. I'm gonna spin it out tomorrow and just make sure everything's fine. Looking at things, it looks fine. Every, the wheels have gone on, the pedals have gone on, and that's that's always a good sign. That's one less thing to do. I like to get that out of the way as early as possible. But anyway, we're gonna chill. We have done. 21,000 steps today. It's been a travel day and a day of registering for the race and we've done 21,000 steps so that's always something that tends to happen. Whenever you register for a race I feel like you just do so many rate there's so many steps. Anyway the next few days will be a little less step heavy and yeah also I got a sticker for my bike box. I already had this sticker but it was on my old bike box. I'm gonna stick it onto my current bike box so that's on there and yeah all good. Anyway, we're gonna watch some YouTube and just go to bed early night. So, see you in the morning. Oh, God. 
good morning. Oh, I'm tired. Did not sleep well at all. Um, it was loud outside. It always happens whenever you stay in a city. Oh, it's so loud. Anyway, it's fine. I've got loads of energy. Um, I'm going to go spin off my bike just to check it's built fine and just check everything's working fine. So at least that's one thing ticked off. Got a bit of work to do this morning and then we're going to go and swim. So I'm not going to talk for too much long because I'm exhausted. <laughs> Just spinning off the bike for just a 30 minutes. Um, I just stayed in the city really. I'm um, just in the, the bike lanes. The bike lanes here are so wide, so you feel super super safe. But obviously, there's so many people around, so it's not like it was a hard ride or anything getting any speed up. But just spinning off the legs, a lot of bike handling, so unclipping and reclipping in and going around people. So that was good practice. But um, yeah, that's at least done. Bike is absolutely fine, so I'm really happy about that. And yeah, it's just so nice being here and like everyone's like cycling to work and don't know what their daily lives on the bikes, I love it. It's great. Like, look at all this. This is outside the apartment block we're staying in. All those. All down there. It's like a bike car park. It's great. I just got the nicest message from one of my athletes and I just cried and I've just got over it and now I'll read it out because it's just, I don't know. I literally work with the best people. <laughs> um, yeah, my athletes are just amazing. Um, so... She put, hey, I know this is a big weekend coming up for you, huge in fact. First of all, wishing you good luck and have fun. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry again. I'm so, oh, why does Iron Man make you do this? <laughs> oh God, I don't even know what's wrong with me. I'm so nervous. Like, no, I'm excited, I'm nervous. Oh, um, oh my God, I can't even read it. <laughs> Oh, I think it's so normal like going into these races to just like I think a lot of the time you like obviously people follow me on here and on social media on Instagram and stuff like maybe think I don't experience self-doubt and I absolutely do um, and especially I think coming like I entered this race because I absolutely loved it last year um, so I wanted to come back and do it again um, but I think also that comes with a lot of pressure of like um, doing, trying to do better than I did last year. Um, like thinking was last year just like a fluke, um, which I know wasn't a fluke. I know I trained so hard and I know this year I've trained really hard and whatever happens on Sunday. Like I know I've come into this like having spent so much time on my bike outdoors more than I did last year. Like I know... Um, my running's been going well, um, like I know I'm so prepared, but like that doubt still is there um, about whether I, like I'll be okay, and I know I'll be okay, I'll be absolutely fine, um, and if I don't beat last year's time, like that's not an issue either, that doesn't make me like a bad athlete or anything, I just think... I, and it's up, like all this pressure is just what I put on myself and no one's expecting anything of me. Um, it's just the pressure I put on myself to keep performing, to be better than I was. Um, I think that, and as well, like, again, all of this is an absolute privilege, but me, and this is all like me doing this, like putting everything out there on social media. I think it makes you extremely like vulnerable. Um, because yeah you like and again everyone's rooting for you no one's thinking like oh like i hope she doesn't do as well as last year but i think it just puts a lot of pressure like when people watch the video and like they're expecting me to do better than last year i don't know maybe no one's expecting that i don't know it's just me <laughs> it's just me i'm just being silly i don't even know what i'm saying anyway it's fine back to the message so Second, when it gets tough, which we both know it will, <laughs> it absolutely will, um, please remember this, you are a badass, tell yourself so. I want you to also remember, this was a really nice bit, oh god, <laughs> why am I like this? <sighs> emotional. <laughs> I feel like I'm emotional as well because I didn't sleep very well so I am tired. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> this is ridiculous Laura. If 
girls will say he's out on the road if girls will say he's like fucking hell <laughs> oh god right let's go again <sighs> jesus oh, let's try again so she put i want you to also remember your team why can't i read it right i want you to also remember your team and know that our hands are on your back supporting you we are with you uh we are there with you every step of the way but most definitely when it feels most challenging now let's go which is really nice like i really like i care about my athletes so much and two of them are out here as well i saw petra um at the airport she was on our flight and then i'm gonna see ellie later um but like they know how much i like support they're all my athletes that i work with and it's just nice like, and I know all of my athletes and my team like have my back as well, which is really nice. Knowing that, uh, I don't want to do all of them proud. Um, oh my god! Like I should probably stop crying on the internet. Oh, silly. I think I just need a nap. I think that's what I need. I'm tired. Um. Anyway, it's all good. So I'm gonna just do a bit of work now. I've just finished up a call and do a bit of work. Gaz is on a run. As you saw, I took my bike out and then we're going to go swim. I'm excited to swim. I've not done much open water, to be fair. It's the only thing different from last year. I've not done much open water swimming this year. Um, mainly because I, I just haven't been asked doing it. <laughs> I don't even know why. Like, I've just been in the pool a lot, which is fine. Um, I know I'm confident in the open water. I've done a few races, so it's fine. Yeah, I've raced, I've raced more this year than I did last year, so I've had more experience like in the open water with people around, so that's good. Um, so that's you know that's good enough race experience and then I've done more swimming in the pool than I ever have done so anyway I'm just rambling now I'm gonna go and do a bit of work and then we can crack on with our day I'm gonna wash my face swim my face <laughs> um and crack on with the day so anyway thank you for watching me stop <laughs> So we're just at a place called Grod, which I think I mean, Mr. Porridge in Danish. Mr. Danish over here. A place called Grod, and we've got some porridge. It looks amazing. Probably gonna have this tomorrow as well. Carve it up. Guys, wind me up. I would never wind her up. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm fine, I'm just emotional today. And that camera is so close to my face. Gas! <laughs> <laughs> She's off for a swim, is she? There's not jellyfish. Yeah, when you did it, there were jellyfish, and that girl just told me she was jellyfish. Even if there is, what are you gonna do? Sink or swim. Fight or flight, Laura. What are you gonna do? Sink. What are you gonna do? Flight. Yeah. Asking everyone if there's been jellyfish. Goodbye. Good luck with the jellyfish. Go on then. Quick as you can. Here she goes, sports fans. Race is on. He's gone. He's gone, he's beaten her. He's already beaten her. He's miles in front. Will she catch him? Will she catch him? He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. She's got a race in her. Are you getting in? Get in! Good. He's miles up there. Ah, oh, she's in now. There we go, now we go. It's race time. She's putting a real effort in to try and catch him now. Done. That's it. There was jellyfish. There's jellyfish. Not doing any more, but that'll do. It's been a couple of hours since I picked up the camera, and to be honest, we've not done very much. So we swam, and then I found somewhere that's going to braid my hair tomorrow. 
which is amazing. And then we've literally just been sat watching YouTube, which, you know, for most people coming to a different city, you wouldn't want to just sit in their Airbnb. But if I'm honest, I've just wanted to just chill today. Um, I think being around loads of people at like at Iron Man, it can all just get a bit tense, a bit much, and everyone was talking about the jellyfish, and it was making me really stressed, and just felt a bit stressed. So anyway, I feel calmer now, in a better mood, and we've just ordered Uber Eats, and we've ordered, oh. is that mine? Jesus, okay. Um, a burrito bowl. Gaz has got a burrito and a burrito bowl. And the, the nachos, and... Are, nachos are just crisps. <laughs> Just so we're aware. <laughs> and that was a grand total of? 70 quid. <laughs> Mental. Good morning. It is the day before race day and I'm just about to start packing all my transition bags, get them all sorted so they are ready to go and drop off later. We're going to go maybe at like four-ish, I think. Um, this morning we're going to do park run. Just do like a 5k easy shake out and then... Again, it will just be another chill day. Like a lot of yesterday was about chilling and just trying not to get overwhelmed and stressed with everything going on. So it'll be much of the same today, I think. Um, but yeah, packing transition bags now. So I have laid everything out on top of the bags that they are going into. I need to put some electrolytes in all of these waters, but I will do that. My bottles are in the fridge, the ones that are going on my bike. I need to put my trainers in there, but they are currently in my bag because we're about to go to Parkrun. Just walking down to Parkrun with the, with the champ here. How are you feeling ahead of your race? Biggest race of the weekend. It's a big People race. People talking about it. Yeah, so. He's just said he hopes there's some fast boys there so he can stick with them. He's going for what, 17 minutes? So 14 I'll be happy with. <laughs> Not to put any pressure, but no. if you don't get 17 minutes then. I'd like a 17 in front of the number. 17 dot something. 17.59. Yeah. Okay, well, we wish you the best of luck. Oh, I hit my back there. She hasn't told you that, has she? Here they come, here the excuses. Slept badly, he only slept for six hours. <coughs> 62 his, sleeps got off. 62 sleeps got and his back sore, so, so don't expect anything big. It'll be a miracle if I can pull this off. If you can even get round for that matter. My bronze goal's to complete. <laughs> sure. That's not allowed go, to be your bronze goal. It's then if I can go sub 20. And oh, then shut up. Other than that. Sub 20 is bronze, because we know you can run a sub 25. <coughs> Silver. Yeah, we're bad. We're not with a bad back. Anyway. I'd be surprised if anyone's in this level of pain at park run. We'll update you soon. What a place to come and do a park run. There he goes, warming up. It's so pretty around here. It's about three and a half, Kaden. It's just nice to not run up to this. It's so weird tapering and I've not been able to, so. I'm loving this. Also, I'll tell you, I'm going to imagine he's probably just about finishing. He was when I saw him running off, he was at the front with three of the guys leading the way. So, hopefully, he's saved with them. Hopefully, he's won it. Go on. Third. 17.50. Amazing. I saw you flying off at the beginning. Well done. Thanks. The hair has been done. Ellie's just getting hers done. Official. Third fastest man in Copenhagen. So we're back from Parkrun and Gaz did 17.50. Yeah. 17.50, amazing. We're all very proud of him. He's had he's had a great day. And then I went straight and got my hair braided, as you can see, um, which cost me 45 pound, which I'm not overly happy about. But anyway, we, it's fine. She's done it really well to be fair and I'll just have to keep it in for three days to get my money's worth. Just about finished packing up all my transition bags, they're all there. Just doing my electrolytes, so I'm gonna put some electrolytes in my personal needs bag on the run course, um, so they're there as an option if, well, I do want them at halfway, I'm gonna make sure I get them to get some sodium in so I can avoid, minimize cramping. So that's that, and then 
other than that, I think everything else is packed. So we're gonna go and ride the bike soon, which is scary. Right, let's go and rack the bikes. It's four o'clock. What about that bag? That goes tomorrow. Special needs bag goes in the morning. T1, T2 bag go to T1 now. Um, so yeah, special needs in the morning so I can put everything in there. In the morning, I've got my bike. Um, all I'll need to do in the morning is tyres. Eat and swim and bike and run. Easy as that. Oh, do you need a hand with that bike? No, don't worry, I don't know. I'll have a piece. Would you like a hand with the bike? Uh, just, just leave it there. They're nice parades. How much do they cost you? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. You're paying for tea tonight. I'm not. <laughs> no, don't mind me. I'm not minding you, don't worry. I've just done, I did a 5k today. Just finding things wrong with my bike. What's wrong with it? Nothing, but your eye and my brain will convince you there's everything wrong with everything. Certainly will. Oh. <laughs> right, what's going on? Well, I'm carving it up because I'm not eating enough today. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, just hungry. So, carving up, walking to transition to drop off the bike and the bags. Um, and yeah, I think I'm more excited today than I was yesterday. Yesterday I was a nervous mess, crying mess, as you've probably all seen on here. Whereas today, I think because I've just stayed away from everything i think that's what i need to do like i think when it's your first one get, get involved and go and see everything explore but i think i don't know it just was getting a bit much for me yesterday so being away from all of that busyness works better for me so i've just sat at home and eaten all day nice i'm not nervous about my ability it's the things that i'm not in control of but there's not much you can do with that Unfortunately, that is. Thing to say, but you're unfortunately, that's part and parcel of triathlon. Is, is yeah. you've got the longest bits, the bike, and you've just got to hope that your bike holds up. Yeah. Mad that like however many thousands of pounds people spend on bikes in there. Doesn't matter. Just... It's not the most expensive. The, the ones that break down all the time. Yeah, you've seen all those rusty ones out. Yeah, they always get through. Again. They've been around for twenty odd years. They're fine. Right, the bike has been racked. That is bike out there, which is ideal. So we swim out from over there, all the way over there, miles over there. And then I will put this first row right here, which is perfect. Now I just need to race. <laughs> I love all kinds of crisps. We don't discriminate in crisps. I love McCoy's, salt and vinegar is my number one. Yeah, probably I'm a number one. Um, <laughs> if I had to choose a number two, it would be knickknacks. The Which? spicy, what is it called? Spicy. The orange ones. Flaming hot, isn't it? No. no. Nice and spicy. That'd be my number two. And then number three would be Seabrooks um, sour cream and chive. When I was in primary school, I used to run the crisp shop. And I used to steal all the crisps and tell them that someone had stolen them all and then I would sell them to the lads outside school. <laughs> <laughs> so full circle. Fab. So hi, that was the that was the crisp story you didn't ask for. So my bike has been dropped, bags have been racked. No, other way around. <laughs> bike has been racked, bags have been dropped. And I'm I'm nervous because I put my Red, you have to put your red transition bag, like your run bag, into the bins that have like the numbers on. So my, I'm obviously 119, but then the vans take the bins up to run transition. And by the time I got there, my bin was already full and gone. So there was only like, I don't know, a couple of bins that weren't my number. But the guy was like, just put it in there, they'll hang it up when you get up there. And now I'm thinking they won't put it in the right place and I'm not going to have any shoes to run in tomorrow. And my race is going to be a fail. So I'm already planning for the worst. But it's Plan fine. for the worst. If it's good, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. It'll work out. Everything always works out. It's half five now. We want to be in bed for half eight. So yeah, we're going to get some pasta now. One final feed, and then it's showtime. 
It was nice. Nice for you to join me. Nice. Yeah. I had plain pasta and grilled chicken. Gal's got a um, garlic bread. No, I've got a margarita. So you've got to do garlic bread. Okay. And then you've got a carbonara. We're done. Everything's done. And all that is left to do now is race. Um, everything is laid out for the morning. I've got my stuff to race in, stuff for after the race. Um, oh, and that's it. Right, I'll see you tomorrow on race day. <sighs> it's race day. Oh my god, I didn't sleep well. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Let's get ready. Whoops, oh god. <laughs> um, so this is the tri suit. Which is nice, but easier to see. So guys should be able to spot me a mile off. But yeah, nice and bright. This is me today. It's 10 to 5 and we're heading to the metro. Um, it's not, it's probably about... Why do I get dragged into these all the time? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's probably about a half an hour trip on the metro. We've got to change lines at some point. Yeah, which... just closing, by the way. There's people it's still not... in there. Yeah. Oh God, we look down on those people. God, those people oh. start like boozing. Oh. Should we go and have one? <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather that right now. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's half an hour-ish on the metro and then it's about a 15 minute walk from the metro. So aiming to get round, down there about six. It's cold this morning. <laughs> it's still and it looks clear, but it's cold. It's at this time that I always regret my life choices. Because I don't know what even if you went back to bed now, you wouldn't sleep. So you might as well do an Iron Man. Yeah, I told everyone to do an Iron Man. Yeah, and it's all on camera. It's all on camera, so you've got to do it. <laughs> right, Laura, what's the plan today? The plan today is to get as close to last time. No, to get to beat last time. That's what I mean. To beat my time that I did last time. Which was? 10.35. Right. So if I can get as close to 10 as possible, then that'd be good. Getting around and finishing will be good also, but as close to 10 as possible, it just all it is determined by how I do it on the bike. If I'm totally honest, if I can knock a bit of time off my bike from last year, that'd be great. Well, you've been smashing the bike lately, so. We have been smashing the bike lately, um, so let's hope that pays off and um, just to have fun. Enjoy it. Just to enjoy it, <laughs> that's important. Lovely and flat today. Right, everything's sorted, bags are done, tyres are pumped up. Now we just need to race. I need to put my wet suit on, uh, I need to eat my banana. Other than that, we are ready to race. I've seen so many people who watch the channel, which is really nice. I feel famous, which I'm absolutely not, but yeah, it's so nice to it's speak like to. It's like hanging around with a celebrity. <laughs> just trying to the fans. No, it's so nice, like people saying it was you useful. you a YouTube girl? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. Um, but yeah, it's been so nice just like chatting to people who watch the videos that I put out and yeah, it means a lot. So anyway, the sun's rising behind me. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Anyway, um, wet to I need my wet to on. How are you feeling? Excited? Um, I don't know. Mixed. Good. I think mean, you're nice to have nerves. <laughs> right. You might need goggles. I do need goggles. Yeah. Need to have a way. That's all I met everyone else is doing. 
No one needs to warm up for 2.4 miles. You're gonna get warm. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? How'd that feel? I'll leave it at that. Sorry, you jellyfish. That's all right. They're gonna kick him out of the way for you anyway. Yeah. Let's just do we'll be aware we just tripped over this. I'm not sure how you. To be fair, easy to miss, eh? Iron Man brain. <laughs> got, got a lot going on. So yeah, you have. Got a lot going on, but yeah. Felt good though. Cold now though. Are you going in the red? Going in the red. Are you cold? I'm freezing. Pretty cold. Oh, do you mind the goggles? Yeah, they're in my pocket. For the for the day, Laura's in. One of the, I think she's like fifth, maybe fifth row in. She looks a little bit more nervous, but I think she's just putting a bit bit of pressure on herself, which happens when you've raced once. You want to go and beat that time, don't you? So on to try and hit one of these bridges to see if I can catch her. So this is like the first lot of swimmers coming in. I think Laura is here. Like that one there. If I can spot her there, that's going to be unbelievable. Yes, Laura! Go on, Laura! Right, Laura is past the, the furthest point. Absolutely destroying it. She's with all the... There's a couple of like blokes out to the front who are absolutely flying and then there's like another batch of obviously very, very good swimmers and she's in that. Um, I think she'll be absolutely buzzing if she can get around that hour mark. She's well up there for that, I would suggest. Um, so now I'm trying to run back to the swim start and see if I can get her coming out. Support is mental. Yes, Laura! Yes! There's levels to this support crew stuff. I will get places, alright? She has absolutely nailed that. So she did an hour bang on swim and then she's done four minute transition and she's already out on the bike. I missed her because she's in a new tri suit. <laughs> I forgot she's in white. So yeah, she was like, see ya. I was like, see ya, go smash it. She's uh, she's destroying it. Starting to get a few out now. 
Laura is miles up the road. Let's go. Lovely day for it as well. Laura is already up the road. The swim's ridiculous. I genuinely don't know how she keeps up with everyone. Like she literally looks like she's not even putting any effort in. She's flying along. But the vast majority of people are now starting to come out. So maybe like an hour and a half swims. You can see them all coming down the road. Everyone looks happy. Everyone looks like they're enjoying themselves at the minute. I'll see them in town in five hours and let's see who's enjoying it. Off to get a bike now and then uh, cycle back into town and get all these cameras charged ready for Laura coming back in. Unreal Laura, let's go! Go on Laura! You're amazing! Just run how you know you can run now. Just ease into it. First few miles are always going to be hard, yeah? Absolutely smash that, come on. Just run how you normally do. Yeah, 100%. Don't go, slow it down. Full marathon now, yeah? You know what you're doing. So Laura's just got a 5.11 bike split. Five hours, 11 minutes. Blow my mind that has. She absolutely destroyed that. I knew she could do something like that. Um, she's been biking really well. She's absolutely smashed it. That's, she'll be absolutely buzzing with that, I'm sure. Um, and now to pull together a marathon, which she can do over and over again. So let's go. And keep smashing it, you. This is what you train for. All, everyone in the group's loving it. Yeah. Settling in now. Settling into it now. You look great. How are you feeling? Well, make sure you pick up nutrition on the uh, aid stations, yeah? Well done. Keep that pace, you're absolutely smashing it. Someone... Someone just said, are you Laura's husband? He went, I watch your videos. <laughs> Keep smashing it. Very proud of you, well done. It is so much harder to get around today. I don't know if like, the support's doubled. Like every single street is rammed. I've had to just do a massive loop round to try and spot Laura. Um, I've just seen her there, obviously I ran with her for a little bit, so I'm at the far end of the course where they don't necessarily have as many people, which is, is good, but in the town, it's mental. Here she is. Keep smiling. Yeah, there's so much support. Yeah, keep smiling, there's loads of support all over the course, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> nice to be off the bike though. Nice. Yeah. It's a slightly different, slightly different run route as well, which is nice. Yeah, you're good at cobbles. Yeah. <laughs> Discipline and processes now, Laura. Forget about them emotions. Let's go. Yes, Laura. Go on. All about that mindset now, keep smiling, keep enjoying it. Remember you get to do this. Feeling good though? Looking great. Of course you are. Look amazing Laura. You look amazing. Well done, everyone's loving the tri suit as well. Keep working, well done. This is what it's about now. It's supposed to hurt as well. Oh, it does. Good. Means you're doing it right. Yeah. You're good at suffering now. Yeah? yeah? Keep working with it. This is it. Next time I see you, I'll see you at the finish line. Yeah. Don't leave any boats on the shore. 
Right, heading to the finish line. She's about seven and a half K away from finishing it. At the moment, if she carries on, she'll go under 10 hours, which is a madness. Mental, but she's running so well. It's uh, absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, get to the finish line now, get set up and then hopefully see a finish. For first time, Laura, go on! You are an iron man. This is more. Laura, go, go, go! Yes, Laura! Amazing, well done! Smashed it! Should be proud of yourself. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. Good. That was so sub ten club. Are you the sub ten club? <laughs> Are they happy to us? Good. And in pain. Yeah. I mean, if you weren't in pain now, after that, I'd be massively worried. <laughs> What's the raw emotions from the race? You should be. <laughs> you put a lot of time and effort into the training. Oh. 9.53, sub 10 club. I said she would do it. She absolutely <laughs> smashed it. Just feeling it, feeling it now. I'm so happy and I'm so in pain. Left it all out there. I said she'd leave it all out there. She did. And I'm so proud of her. Of course, the escalator to the metro would be broken after I've just done a night in man. Of course. Fuck's <laughs> sake. You get the tickets, I'll be there in a sec. Okay, well, I'll be an hour. How are you feeling? I'm Only three flights. I've never felt this bad after a race. I'm not. 9.53. I'll just keep saying it to you. Oh, it's going to be worse tomorrow as well. Yeah, it's going down on my hair as well. <laughs> oh. Quick shower. I'm back out to support the girls. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go, Petra! Let's go, last lap, come on, well done! The perfect end to a perfect day. With a perfect guy. With this guy. <laughs> What are you signing up for? I'm paying for Kona. Oh, right. Really? They're taking all my money. Should I pay? Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Okay, can you just click on We're going. We're going to Kona.